to Grade 7 Learners. Welcome to Valenzuela Facebook Live. I am very excited to have you here. Let us have a fun and enjoyable discussion for today. Are you ready? Then, if you are ready, kindly click the heart reaction. Great! We are now in week 5 and for our most essential learning competency today, you should be able to distinguish mixtures from substances based on a set of properties. And these are the three objectives that we need to achieve today. The following objectives are, first, to classify the given materials as pure substances or mixtures. Second, to identify mixtures as solution, colloid, and suspension. And lastly, to cite examples of mixtures commonly found at home. As we proceed with our session, I want you to keep in mind these three important reminders. First, prepare your pen, paper, and module with you to write down important details. Second, focus on the discussion. And third, post only the class-related question on the comment section. Before we continue with the discussion, let us have a game first. We are going to play Minute to Mix It. All you need to do is to find the right ingredients of food and drink in a minute. Are you ready? Then let us start. You have a minute to mix it. The game begins. Two. Yeah. 
shell made up of two or more different substances, which are physically combined. Now, the question is, do solids, liquids, and gases mix? Yes, all the state of matter can mix with themselves and with each other. Mixtures can take in several forms. It can be solid, liquid, or gas. A mixture is the physical combination of two or more substances in which the identities are retained and are mixed in the form of a solution, colloid, and suspension. In terms of a mixture, what do we mean by solution? Okay, solution is formed when a solute is dissolved into a solvent. Take note of this. Solute is a substance being dissolved and being presented in a smaller amount, while solvent is the dissolving medium and part of solution present in the largest amount. For example, a salt solution is a mixture of salt, which is the solute, and water, which is the universal solvent. In this video, it shows that the solvent is the water, while salt is the solute. When the salt is mixed in the water, its particles separate and go in between the particles of water. And as the salt dissolves in the water, it forms a salt solution. A coffee is also an example of a solution. It is a mixture of water, which is the solvent, while coffee powder and sugar are the solute. In this kind of mixture, we cannot distinguish all the components. Now, let us move on to the next one, the colloid. Do you have any idea what a colloid is? Colloids are mixtures in which microscopically dispersed insoluble particles of one substance are suspended in another substance. In colloids, particles are not heavy enough to settle out of the mixture. Milk is also an example of colloid. It is a mixture of water and powdered milk. In this kind of mixture, we cannot distinguish all the components. In this video, it shows that the flour mixed to the water. After mixing it, you will notice that there are some particles suspended in the solution. It shows that the colloid is a solution in which the substance remains dispersed and does not settle at the bottom. While our last specification of mixture is suspension. What do we mean by suspension? Suspension is a mixture of water and a non-dissolved material. Particles will settle out unless the mixture is continuously steered. One of example of suspension is mixing oil and water. In this video, it shows that the oil mixed to the water. You will notice that the oil does not dissolve and you will see that the oil separates and settles at the top of the water. Another example of suspension is water and powder chalk. In this kind of mixture, we can distinguish all the components. And to summarize the difference among solution, colloid, and suspension, here are their properties when it comes to particle size, appearance, and effect of light. In terms of particle size, solution has less than 1 nanometer. Colloid has 1 to 100 nanometers. And suspension has more than 100 nanometers. In terms of appearance, 
solution is clear, while colloid and suspension are cloudy. And that, in terms of the effect of dimulant. In the solution, the light can pass through. In colloid, the light discovers. And in suspension, the light cannot pass through. Well, this figure shows the Tyndall effect. Tyndall effect is light scattering by particles in a colloid or in a very fine suspension. Now, let us try your understanding. Kindly complete the following classification of matter. I'll give you 20 seconds to fill in the correct word in the blanks. Time starts now. Okay, time's up. Now, let's find the correct answers. Matter is classified into two. Pure substance and great mixture. Pure substance is classified into two. Correct. And compound. The three classifications of mixtures are very good. Solution, colloid, and suspension. Now, I'll give you 20 seconds to state whether the material is a pure substance or a mixture. Time starts now. Now, let us find the correct answers. First is soil. Soil is a correct mixture. Second is copper. Copper is a right pure substance. Third is water with sugar. Water with sugar belongs to very good mixture. Next is water. Water is a correct pure substance. And lastly, cereal mix. Cereal mix belongs to great mixture. Amazing! You got all the correct answers. Now, I'll give you 10 seconds to identify the given mixtures. Which of the following is solution, which is colloid, and which is suspension? Time starts now. Okay, now let us find the correct answers. Correct. T belongs to solution. Paint belongs to colloid. And water with sun belongs to suspension. And to summarize the discussion, matter can be broken down into two categories. These are pure substance and mixture. Pure substance can be categorized into two types, element and compound. Is a substance that cannot be broken down into a simpler format. Compound is a mixture of two or more elements. Mixture is a combination of two or more pure substances. Mixture can be classified as solution, colloid, and suspension. Solution consists of solute and solvent. Solute is the substance being dissolved, while solvent is the dissolving medium. 
halide is a mixture in which the dispersed particles do not settle out. Suspension is a liquid or other substance in which solid particles are mixed but not dissolved. Some examples of mixtures commonly found at home, such as oil and water, honey and lemon, milk and chocolate, coffee and cream, and many more. So, what do you think is the importance of mixture in our daily lives? Did you know that we encounter mixture everywhere in our daily lives? Mixtures are common occurrence in our daily lives. The air we breathe, the foods and drinks we consume, the fabrics we wear, and many others. I hope you learned a lot from our discussion for today. Now, it is time for the question and answer. You can now write your question on the comment section. Okay? We got a question from a student in Winter Reales National High School. Ma'am, what is the difference between pure substance and mixture? Okay, so pure substance is made up of only one kind of particle, while mixtures are made up of pure substances combined together. A mixture is composed of at least two different kinds of particles next our next question is from a student in parada national high school ma'am how can we easily differentiate the three classifications of mixtures okay a solution makes it thoroughly together because the particles of a solid are very tiny while a colloid is a combination of molecules mixed through the other substances that will not settle out or join with the other substance. While a suspension is material with large particulate size that will eventually separate. And our last question is from a student in Mason National High School. Ma'am, can you give an example of mixture? So actually, we can find mixtures everywhere. And we can find most of it in our kitchen. Some examples are cereal and milk, flour and butter, uh, coffee and cream, honey and tea, water and powder juice, and many more. Thank you for those who ask questions. And for the follow-up, kindly answer the activities in your learning packet from pages 13 to 19. It has been a very meaningful and interactive discussion. Thank you for participating and for watching Valenzuela Science Livestream. Have a great day!